And I think it's important, especially as American kids, to really identify your roots because I feel like they strip us away of so much pride, dignity, and culture. Asian Americans and Pacific Islanders are an essential part of the music industry, encompassing a wide range of diversity and creative minds. Billboard News is celebrating Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month by highlighting chart achievements from some of your favorite AAPI artists, starting with our reigning Billboard Woman of the Year, Olivia Rodrigo. Not a day goes by where I don't think about how lucky I am to get to call this my job. I've been writing songs since I was so young. Olivia already had a fan base from starring in a Disney Channel series, but it was her debut single, Driver's License, that drove her into superstardom. I still see your face in the white cards. The single broke numerous records, including Spotify's record for the highest streaming numbers for a debut single by a female artist. And Olivia became the youngest solo artist to debut at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 at the age of 17. Driver's License went on to hold the number one spot on the Hot 100 for eight weeks and became the first song in 2021 to hit one billion streams globally. Her follow-up single Deja Vu debuted at number eight on the Hot 100, making the newcomer the first in the chart's history to debut their first two releases in the top 10. Damn, girl. Do you get Deja Vu? Olivia wasn't stopping there. Her third single, Good For You, scored the singer her second number one hit on the Hot 100. With all this success, it was no surprise that Olivia's album, Sour, debuted at the number one spot on the Billboard 200, spent a total of five weeks at the top, and became the longest reigning number one album by a female artist in 2021. Sour was just me pouring my heart out and processing emotions that I needed to process for it to kind of uh, receive the honors that it has is just beyond um, any of my wildest dreams. Next is a young artist whose debut album was praised by Taylor Swift. He's Conan Gray. I'm really happy with how the album turned out um, and to have someone like Taylor tell me that they, that they appreciate the album is so special. Conan began creating and uploading videos to his YouTube channel in 2013, and in 2017, he released his first song, Idle Town. Curfews at midnight, we watch the sunrise. This track, Maniac, was his first Billboard charting single when it reached number 25 on the Bubbling Under Hot 100 chart. You want me back, you maniac. But he made big waves when his debut album, Kid Crow, debuted in the number five spot on the Billboard 200. I knew that it was going to be amazing over the internet because everything happened over the internet. I think that it just is kind of fitting that the album came out completely out of our bedrooms because I wrote it like all literally sitting in bed like this. The singer-songwriter gained popularity on TikTok with his song, Heather, which became his first entry on the Hot 100 at number 46. Why would you and finally, let's talk about Sweetie, an artist making a huge name for herself in the rap game. And I think Tough Skin is what's allowed me to persevere in a music industry that has tried to put this glass ceiling on me, which I break every time. The rapper started off by posting short raps on her Instagram, but it was her freestyle over Kaya's My Neck, My Back that eventually became her debut single, Icy Girl. That's how a hot girl do it. Number one stunner, Icy Girl with a Cuban. Cash money mama that be dining in Bahamas, eating fettuccine pasta with the scallops and the lobsters. Sweetie's next big release, My Type, was her first song to debut on the Billboard Hot 100 at the number 81 spot and peaked at number 21, becoming her first top 40 hit. Rich, that's my type. That's my type. That's my type. But it was Tap In, the lead single from her upcoming album, Pretty Bitch Music, that brought the rapper her first top 20 hit when it peaked at number 20. Tap, tap, baby, tap in. Tap, tap, tap in. Sweetie's team up with Doja Cat on Best Friend reached the number 14 spot on the Hot 100 and number one on the Rhythmic Airplay chart. And that's my best friend, she a real fat. To top off all that chart success, the rapper was also honored as this year's game changer at Billboard's Women in Music. But I would rather keep changing the weather than report it, okay? Let's wrap things up with an artist we think you should know about, Japanese Breakfast. I've got a 
Michelle Zahner was originally in Little Big League, but the band split up so she could focus more on Japanese breakfast. I mean, so much of music is really math, and like so much of my career has been not really knowing that math and just following my intuition. Japanese Breakfast has released three albums, 2016 Psycho Pump, Soft Sounds from Another Planet in 2017, and 2021's Jubilee. Michelle also released a memoir, Crying in H Mart, a memoir in 2021, that debuted at number two on the New York Times bestsellers list and will be made into a feature film with the artist overseeing the soundtrack. Japanese Breakfast was nominated for Best New Artist and Best Alternative Album for Jubilee at the 2022 Grammys. It's been really wonderful for my self-esteem. I can always rely on reminding myself that I'm a Grammy nominee. And the Grammy nominee had one goal for Grammy night, and that wasn't her winning. On Grammy night, my goal is to get a photo with BTS. She accomplished her goal. These are just a few AAPI artists who have achieved chart success. For full coverage of Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, head to Billboard.com. Running it down for you always, I'm Tetris Kelly for Billboard News.